Hey, it's the Bulletin Man, coming to you live and in the flesh, live on tape, live on disc, as we should say, and is, today is June 15th, already halfway through the month, hard to believe, isn't it, folks? My goodness, time flies when you're fighting criminals and fighting crime, and that's what we try to do here in the Bulletin Land, is expose those who want to take advantage of the elderly and the and the widow and the fatherless and take advantage of God's people and just let you folks know that Jesus is soon to come can't tell you when but it ain't going to be long the signs of the time are all around us see what's happening in the Middle East and the Iranian like elections being mucked with by our CIA and uh, we're in 170 countries around the world and things just aren't looking good for the old empire General Motors is now owned by the government government motors Kind of has an unfair advantage. I wonder who all the government's going to be buying all their cars from now, huh? <laughs> it ain't going to be Ford, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be Ford. Henry Ford will be rolling in his grave. Have you ever read The International Jew by Henry Ford? I highly recommend it. It's a great book. Yeah, it really shows what's going on. And Henry Ford also wrote, said back in 1919, if the American people really understood the banking system, there would be a revolution in this country overnight. But here it is some damn near 90 years later and the American people I guess don't get it because uh, there's been no revolution. And as my friend Steve Monroe from Broken English always tells me, ain't nothing going to change till the money hits the street. Until the hundred dollar bills become toilet paper. That is only when you're going to see change in this country. When there's no food on the shelves. But folks prepare yourself for that because that's what's coming upon this country the blood of 50 million babies cries out from the grave and we're going to have to pay for for the slaughter of the unborn not to mention all the other sins that America is involved in and the sins of our fathers we will definitely have to pay for and of course our own sins and I recommend that you repent today I try to repent every day because the bulletin man certainly needs it but I've certainly been blessed to, to have a breath of my air a breath in my lungs and and uh, be able to speak to you, the people, saying, uh, telling you that Jesus is soon to come. But in the meantime, we're called to occupy until he comes. So that's what we're trying to do here, is just to occupy until he comes. This is Penny the Puppy. Say hello to Penny. Penny is a great dog. We got Penny about two weeks ago, and now she's becoming quite the little hound dog. And we just love Penny the Puppy. Penny is a great dog. Getting big, isn't she? It's a big, cool dog. Go on back down here, Penny. I love you. I love you, Dolby. Nonetheless, thanks for tuning in to the website, kjeff.com, making us the number one website in Jefferson County. But the Jeffco Scribe is coming about pretty soon. Haven't been there lately, but uh, Mr. Sleeper's putting together a fine newspaper, and uh, hopefully that'll take over the number one website here in Jefferson County. I'd like to thank Happy Welch for mentioning the Bulletin Man the other day. I also got to say, talk to Mike Dutton. Uh, about the Fog Hat concert. Fog Hat, Hog Fat was supposed to come to the airport in, in Festus, and, and hopefully they still are. But the city of Festus got a cease and desist order. So once again, I called Mayor Cook, and of course the mayor can't call me back. Now, I got to thinking, you know, I went to school with Reggie. And I seen Reggie about a year or so ago. Is Reggie Co Mayor Cook Reggie's dad? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he is. Maybe that explains why he don't call me back. I don't know. The mayor, I know you're going to watch this, so I'm begging you, call me back. First of all, you need to do something about Tim White, because Tim's going to go off on you guys one of these days if you don't. And now you're trying to keep hog fat from playing on the Festus Airport runway? What is wrong with you people in Festus? You know, and you have a sign ordinance, and you get all over Steve Clem about his signs on the side of his building, and then you go out and contract with some country company, and they uh, out-of-town company, and they put signs all over town. Off premise sign. I tell you what. Nonetheless, I could go on all day long, but my time is running short. I do appreciate you tuning into the Bulletin Man broadcast. Today is June fifteenth. Hope to have another one for uh, one, one of these for you tomorrow. I did get the western part of the county done today. Uh, the bulletins are in Cedar Hill, House Springs, and High Ridge. 
uh, I will get over into the central part and uh, eventually to Festus in Crystal City with the bulletin uh, dated actually June 10th uh, but here it is June 15th and we're still trying to get them to you but I do love you and uh, hope you forgive me for my tardiness sometimes but uh, tune in again and thanks a lot you have a great afternoon take care